All right, so let's talk about the brain, the, fun, the p- different parts of the brain, and get ready for it because I'm going to throw a ton of information at you. But this is some pretty basic stuff, so it should be manageable. Cerebral cortex has four lobes, okay? First lobe is the frontal lobe. Second lobe is the parietal lobe. Third lobe is the temporal lobe. And finally, occipital lobe. This is the front. And then this is the back. All right, we're going to talk about functions of each of these lobes in a little second. I want to point out a couple other landmarks of the cerebral cortex. Again, this is front. This is back. Um, we got a little cerebellum here, okay? Um, first one here is Broca's area. It's very important. You're going to hear about this a lot. This is important for production of speech. If you lose Broca's area, you cannot speak. Okay, we call it broken boca. I'm going to mention it again. Broken boca, broca, uh, broken boca. Okay, next one is Wernicke's area. So this one is for understanding speech. Broca is to produce it, to actually make the words. Wernicke is to understand what someone says. So this one is in the temporal lobe. The location is very important too. You're going to get pictures of this stuff, so you have to know the locations. Broca's area is the, like the parietal temporal lobe, uh, parietal frontal lobe. Um, Wernicke's is in the temporal lobe. All right, the next location to take note of is the primary motor cortex. Note that this one is, and this is also called the precentral gyrus. This is the central gyrus right here, and the primary motor cortex is precentral. The primary sensory cortex is postcentral. All right, so this is pretty easy to confuse. We just remember, you have to remember that the motor cortex is in front of the sensory cortex, okay? And finally, we have the visual cortex. This is basically in the occipital lobe. Okay, now we have the homunculus. This is um, regions of the cortex that's responsible. We just talked about the sensory and the motor cortex. And different parts of the brain are responsible for different parts of the body. So this is, we've cut the brain in half. Um, Go back. We cut the brain in half. As you can see, you can just imagine this is the other half here that we're not going to talk about. So this is a cross section. Medially is responsible for the lower limbs. Medial, I don't know what happens. Excuse me for that. Medial equals lower limb. And then the lateral part is the face and then the upper limbs. The slight differences in the motor and the sensory cortex vertices, but in general, lateral parts of the brain give motor and sense for the face and the, lower, and the upper limbs, and the medial part of the brain is for the lower limbs, for motor and sensation. And so this will be important, so just keep that in mind for now. All right, now we're going to go into functions of each lobe. First is the frontal lobe. This is, in, this is all higher level think, uh, functions. Frontal lobe is most important. It's thinking and decisions, there's emotions, there's concentration, and then there's behavioral control. So oftentimes you'll see a patient who just goes out of control with behavior. They become very just sexually um, unrestrained. They become, um, or they just spend a lot. That's because they got damaged in the frontal lobe. Okay, parietal lobe is uh, right here. It's responsible for perception and for language. Uh, we talked a little bit about Broca's area. That's in the parietal lobe for production of speech. Perception. There's something called um, hemi neglect, where if you lose you're a non-dominant parietal lobe, which is usually your right side. You have, um, what happens is you lose perception of the opposite side of your of your body. So for some reason, you just you don't realize there's anything on the left side of your body anymore. You lost that perception. It's hard to understand, but that's really, honestly, it really happens. People just, when they lose the right side of their parietal lobe, they have no idea that there's something on the left side of their body. There's, there's nothing there for them. And for, in their mind, nothing exists on the left side. All right, for the temporal lobe, there's language, hearing, memory, emotion, um, especially language we talked about. Do you remember what, what was that language center in the temporal lobe again? And what was its function? It's the Wernicke's area right here, and it's for understanding speech. Um, we'll talk about a little bit more about that in a second. Finally, a occipital lobe right here is for vision. Very simple, at least this one's super simple. Occipital so lobe for vision. We have the cerebellum here, right here. That's for uh, balance, hand-eye coordination, gross and fine motor skills. Um, it coordinates all of that. And then we have the brainstem right here. 
Um, this is, it's like your older part of the brain for vital function of the body. It regulates body temperature, regulates heart rate, breathing. Uh, these are vital functions you can't do without.